The Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers in India is the administrative unit of three departments namely Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals Department of Fertilizers Department of Pharmaceuticals the ministry is headed by Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers DV Sadananda Gowda is the current minister for the department Topic <laughs> Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals The Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals was under the Ministry of Industry until December 1989, when it was brought under the Ministry of Petroleum and Chemicals. On June 5, 1991, the Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals was transferred to the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. The department is entrusted with the responsibility of planning, development and regulations of the chemicals, petrochemicals and pharmaceutical industry sector, inducting Drugs and pharmaceuticals, excluding those specifically allotted to other departments Insecticides, excluding the administration of the Insecticides Act, 1968, 46 of 1968. Molasses Alcohol, industrial and potable from the molasses root. Dyestuffs and dye intermediates All organic and inorganic chemicals not specifically allotted to any other ministry or department. Bhopal disaster, special laws Petrochemicals Industries relating to production of non-cellulosic synthetic fibers such as nylon, polyester, and acrylic Synthetic rubber Plastics including fabrications of plastic and molded goods Planning, development and control of, and assistance to, all industries dealt with by the department The department has various divisions under it. The important being, Chemical Division Petrochemicals Division Monitoring and Evaluation Division, M &E Division. Topic Department of Fertilizers Earlier called the Department of Chemicals and Fertilizers. The genesis of the Department of Chemicals and Fertilizers can trace to the erstwhile Ministry of Production in the 50s. In 1963 the department was placed in the newly set up Ministry of Petroleum and Chemicals. In 1975, with the appointment of a separate cabinet minister for chemicals and fertilizers, the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers comprising the Department of Petroleum and the Department of Chemicals and Fertilizers came into being. A separate Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers came into existence in September, 1982 headed by a cabinet minister who is assisted by Minister of State. It was part of the Ministry of Agriculture till 1984. In June, 1991, it became part of newly created Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. Department of Fertilizers came into existence as a separate department in September, 1985 consequent upon the bifurcation of the then Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. Thereafter, this department was brought under the ambit of Ministry of Agriculture for a short duration. However, the earlier position was restored in 1992. The main activities of the Department of Fertilizers DOF, broadly cover planning, promotion and development of the fertilizer industry, planning and monitoring of production, import and distribution of fertilizers and management of financial assistance for indigenous and imported fertilizers. The department has four divisions namely Fertilizer projects and planning Fertilizer imports, movement and distribution Administration Finance and accounts Topic Department of Pharmaceuticals The Cabinet Secretariat on 2 July 2008, has notified creation of a new department under Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers with the objective to give greater focus and thrust on the development of pharmaceutical sector in the country and to regulate various complex issues related to pricing and availability of medicines at affordable prices, research and development, protection of intellectual property rights and international commitments related to pharmaceutical sector which require integration of work with other ministries. There is also need for better coordination in the areas of pharmaceutical R&D and education and for international cooperation in these areas. All the drugs and pharmaceuticals, unless specifically allotted to any other department, would come under the purview of the Department of Pharmaceuticals. The main functions and responsibilities of the department are as follows. 1. All matters relating to NPPA including its functions of price control and monitoring. 2. Responsible for the drugs and pharmaceuticals, excluding those specifically allotted to other departments, and for the development of infrastructure, manpower and skills for the pharmaceutical sector 3. 
work for the promotion and coordination of basic, applied and other research in areas related to the pharmaceutical sector and for international cooperation in pharmaceutical research. 4. Entrusted with the task of maintaining intersectoral coordination between organizations and institutes, both under central and state governments, related to areas concerning the subject. 5. To deal with all matters relating to planning, development and control of, and assistance to, all industries in the pharmaceutical segment. 6. All the government-owned drug manufacturing units such as Bengal Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals, Hindustan Antibiotics, Indian Drugs and Pharmaceuticals Limited, Karnataka Antibiotics and Pharmaceuticals and Rajasthan Drugs and Pharmaceuticals would be placed under the department. 7. All matters relating to National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research Nipper, education and training including high-end research and grant of fellowships in India and abroad, exchange of information and technical guidance on all matters relating to pharmaceutical sector. 8. Technical support for dealing with national hazards in pharmaceutical sector. 9. Promotion of public-private partnership PPP in pharmaceutical-related areas. Shri Ashok Kumar, an IAS officer of 1974 batch Bihar Kadri has been appointed as the first secretary in the newly created Department of Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Attached offices National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority 1 NPPA is an organization of the Government of India which was established, inter alia, to fix, revise the prices of controlled bulk drugs and formulations and to enforce prices and availability of the medicines in the country, under the Drugs Prices Control Order, 1995. The organization is also entrusted with the task of recovering amounts overcharged by manufacturers for the controlled drugs from the consumers. It also monitors the prices of decontrolled drugs in order to keep them at reasonable levels. Topic Autonomous Bodies Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology CIPET 2 Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology CIPET is a premier national institution devoted to academic technology support and research ATR for the plastics and allied industries in India. First CIPET campus was established by Government of India in 1968 at Chennai and subsequently 14 CIPET campuses have been established by Government of India in the country. Today CIPET has many campuses Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Ahmedabad, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Amritsar, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Aurangabad, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Bhopal, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Bhubaneswar, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Chennai, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Guwahati, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Hajipur, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Haldia, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Jaipur, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Imphal, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Lucknow, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Mysore, Central Institute of Plastics Plastics Engineering and Technology, Kanti, Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, Panipathies are contributing through ATR services to the industries in India and abroad, having uniform infrastructural facilities in the areas of design, CAD, CAM, CAE, tooling and mold manufacturing, plastics processing, testing and quality control. CIPET Chennai also started a department called ARSTPS Advanced Research School for Technology and Product Simulation which provides facilities in areas of design, CAD, CAM, CAE. It also provides a ME degree program for CAD, CAM. A. Topic. PSUs and Joint Ventures Bengal Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals Limited BCPL Brahmaputra Valley Fertilizer Corporation Limited BVFCL FCI Aravalli Gypsum and Minerals India Limited FAGMIL Fertilizers and Chemicals Travancore Limited Fact Fertilizer Association of India FAI Fertilizer Corporation of India FCIL 
Hindustan Antibiotics Limited (HAL), Hindustan Insecticides Limited (HIL), Hindustan Organic Chemicals Limited (HOCL), http colon slash slash hocl .gov. In Madras Fertilizers Limited (MFL), National Fertilizers Limited (NFL), Projects and Development India Limited (PDIL), Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited (RCF). Brahmaputra Cracker and Polymer Limited (BCPL), others. Gujarat State Fertilizers and Chemicals Limited (GSFC). Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative (IFFCO). Krishak Bharati Cooperative Limited (KRIBHCO).